All right, time to learn a great song. We all know what song that is. That's Let It Be by the Beatles. And uh, so what I'm going to do here is just like following in the footsteps of my Brown Eyed Girls series here, I'm going to take you from the very early stages of your guitar playing, your beginning stages of your guitar playing, all the way through your intermediate, through your advanced guitar playing techniques, all within the context of one song. So we're going to do Let It Be here, but um, what we're going to do first is we're going to start by learning the basic rhythm of the song and the basic chord structure of the song. Let's look at the verse of the song first. The first chord is a C. My third finger is on the A string, third fret. My second finger is on the D string, second fret. And my first finger is on the B string, uh, first fret. The G chord. My second finger is on the E string, third fret, my first finger is on the A string, second fret, and my third finger, or my fourth finger, either one is fine, is on the E string, third fret, high E string. My A minor chord. My A minor chord. My second finger is on the D string, second fret. My third finger is on the G string, second fret, and my first finger is on the B string, first fret. Now F is a little tricky. If you're strong enough to play F with a barred first finger on your E string and B string, I suggest you do so. If you cannot, you can start with your first finger just on the B string. Your second finger would be playing the G string 2nd fret, your third finger on the A string 3rd fret, and your fourth finger on the D string 3rd fret. Now you, if you're going to only play the first finger without barring it, you must end your strumming here on the B string. If you hit the E string, it's not the end of the world, but that's an F major 7, and not really an F. This is one of those songs, that's, that's it. We got four chords for this entire song. So the rhythm, the basic rhythm goes like this. Each chord gets two beats. So what that looks like is this. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. Back to C, back to G, now F. And then we just walk down our F chord. to C. It's probably the trickiest part, but it's quite easy. Is Once we play our F, we strum that F one time, and then what we're going to do is we play this little A minor 7, or C with an E in the bass. Just strum those three notes. The uh, D string, the G string, and the B string. And then we'll let go of our second finger, and back to C. So all together that looks like... On this song, I'm mostly just strumming the A string, the D string, and the G string. On the G chord, you can strum all the chord, all the notes, um, from the E string down. But uh, with all the other chords, I'm really focusing on hitting the A string as my lowest chord, my lowest, uh, lowest note. So C, I start on that A string for that, one and two, G hit that E string, and really I'm focusing mostly on the low notes as well. You'll see one, one and two, three and four. I'm not doing any big, grand, sweeping motions here with my hand. I'm being very simple in my approach. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. Back to C. Go to the chorus. 
chorus. And the chorus has the same exact chords, it just starts on A minor. I'll call out the chords. Three, four. G to F to C. C, G, F. And we're back to the song. Back to the verse. This song shouldn't be too difficult for you. Um, make sure you're following along with the chord sheets. And uh, I'll see you over on lesson two.